Alright, uh, good afternoon. Ayan, good afternoon po sa lahat. Uh, today po ay tambayan mode tayo, no? Tambayan mode. Learn. more, achieve more. That's the message LinkedIn Learning has for individuals and organizations. Our goal is to help you and your employees discover and learn the skills needed to be productive and successful through a highly personalized, data-driven, engaging learning experience. LinkedIn Learning combines three core elements, diverse and high-quality content, personalized curation, and anytime, anywhere convenience. But it begins with content. Our content covers topics employees must have to be successful and topics organizations need to engage, develop, and retain top talent in today's competitive job market. Courses are taught by industry experts, all with real world experience. Our business library covers courses on leadership and management, talent management, effective communication, strategy, and career development. Our technology library covers in-demand topics, including programming, infrastructure and operations, data science, and networking that are critical to software engineering and IT managers. Our creative library covers topics for CAD and creative professionals with an emphasis on design and staying on top of emerging trends and technologies. In addition to our diverse content, unique insights from the world's largest professional network allow us to create a personalized learning experience for you and your employees. With 450 million member profiles and billions of engagements on LinkedIn.com, we have a unique view of how jobs, industries, organizations, and skills continually evolve. With this data, we can identify the skills you and your employees need and deliver expert-led courses to help attain those skills. These same insights also empower managers or L&D professionals to easily identify and recommend the most relevant content to their teams and employees. Today's workforce has more competing demands for their time than ever before. To help make it convenient to learn anytime, anywhere, our mobile apps for Android and iOS allow you and your employees to take our industry experts everywhere, including offline. We're proud of our courses and our platform, but mostly we're proud that millions of people will acquire the skills needed to be more productive and successful. With LinkedIn Learning, we're introducing a revolution in learning and an evolution of you and your organization. Learn more, achieve more. That's the message LinkedIn Learning has for individuals and organizations. Our goal is to help you and your employees discover and learn the skills needed to be productive and successful through a highly personalized, data-driven, engaging
Ayan. Comment down below po, no? Comment down below if you arrived, if you're on time. Uh, this afternoon, comment down below, LinkedIn Learning Philippines. Ayan. Once more, good afternoon to Sir Bricks uh, Vlogs, Sir Alfred Casa Belia Arsiaga, Ma'am Premilin Sagsagat. Okay, so today, uh, hosted by uh, Miss Nelsie, you know, our pang ilang installment na to. I think this is the fourth. Yes, this is the fourth installment for 3DS Max. Ayan, third installment for 3DS Max uh, basic animation. So join us. Ayan, thank you sir Edgar for commenting down. Ayan, link in learning Philippines. So last installment na pala, no? Mamayang gabi, once more uh, together with uh, sir Onel Pabico. So, meron din pala, malayo-layo pa ng onte. Uh, July, it's Revit Essential Training, Civil 3D Essential Training. Tapos, kung wala pa po kayo sa Ambassador Hub, ayan, please join us in Ambassador Hub. Yeah, yeah. I pure I hope you're seeing the no no. The motion graphic appearing on the screen, uh, it's the link for Ambassador Hub. Ayan, unahin po muna natin yung good news. Ay, unahin daw pala. Huwag daw good news. Unahin daw pala muna yung uh, bad news. Meron po tayong bad news. Ayan. Sir Brick, Sir Alfred, Ma'am Primelin. Yan. Comment down below po. Link in learning. Philippines. Or you may uh, you may direct message me or uh, private message me in uh, LinkedIn. Ayan. Chat nyo po ako sa LinkedIn. Ayan, so, yung mga, may mga hindi nag-claim, no? So, sorry na lang. Uh, ipaparaffle po natin ulit yung mga hindi nag-claim ng uh, LinkedIn Learning mamaya 
before we uh, end this live stream. Ayan. So, Sir Edgardo, ikaw po ba to? Confirm lang natin, no, if uh, this is, ano, uh, Sir Ed Edgardo Ibanes. If this is you, sir, uh, kindly uh, PM me in uh, LinkedIn. Ayan, good afternoon, Ma'am uh, Rosario Martinez. Ayan, once more, Sir uh, Edgardo Ibanes. Ikaw ba to itong Edgardo Ibanes na may number na Uh, bukas din po, no, meron tayong event, uh, soft skills. Uh, please join us po with uh, Miss Eunice Punzalan. Yeah, so hoping you can uh, join us tomorrow. This will be uh, streamed live in uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. So once more tomorrow uh, in LinkedIn at uh, 2 p.m. with uh, Miss Eunice. And on July 11, July 11, next week, kay, uh, ano naman tayo, kay Sir Dennis De Silva on how to have a uh, fulfilling ca career. Ayun, uh, first, ang uh, bad news po, uh, not so great news, no? bad news, ay kung hindi nyo pa po alam, ay si uh, ang ating, ang ating ninong po sa Ambassador Hub ay uh, wala na po sa, ano, no? sa Autodesk. Ayan, so the bad news, not so good news, is uh, Bjorn Wittenberg is uh, no longer uh, connected with uh, Autodesk. And uh, requesting you no, to, to greet him 
ayan to give him ano no uh, to say thanks to ano malaki din po ang uh, naitulong niyan at naibigay sa ano po no sa mga kababayan natin so sa lahat po ng uh, nakakilala kay uh, Ninong Bjorn no uh, please connect with him via LinkedIn and uh, message him Give him a message of uh, thanks. Ayan. So once more, it's Bjorn uh, Wittenberg uh, who is based in uh, Alemania. Ayan. Germany. Aleman. So hindi pa po natin alam kung uh, who will uh, replace him for his uh, role pero ito po yung tao na ano no ah, siya yung dahilan kung bakit marami tayong uh, nakuwang certification exam at yung dati pa no yung panahon ng student expert marami tayong pinamigay ng mga Autodesk ano eh Autodesk uh, freebies mga nakatanggap diyan ng laptop bag ayan So please share po no uh, please inform everyone about this uh, live stream ayan. Uh, later we will reveal kung ano po ba talaga yung ano no yung uh, what what this uh, live stream is all about. But initially uh, ayan no we would like to give thanks for the support given by ano Bjorn uh, Wittenberg to the Filipino people during his uh, tenure in uh, Autodesk. Okay, so uh, we will be having a uh, raffle, yeah, raffle drawdown no, for uh, LinkedIn Learning subscription. Uh, or what you have to do is simply uh, comment down below. Ayan. Link in Learning Philippines. Once more, no. Uh, we will be having a uh, raffle draw, so simply comment down below. Link in Learning Philippines. Ayan, so again, uh, July 4, uh, join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. with uh, Ma'am Yunis. On the saying no is, uh, sometimes saying no daw is okay. Ayan. Comment down below po. Link in learning uh, Philippines uh, for you to get a chance no, in uh, winning a link in learning subscription.
Ayan. Thank you uh, for commenting down, Sir Arnold. Ayan, tapos uh, I'm I, I'll be sharing uh, this link no. Ayan, pasted na po. Yon, sa mga uh, nanonood po no, uh, I pasted a link. Ayan. So can someone uh, confirm if uh, you have access now to this uh, learning path? It's the learning path is uh, how to become a graphic designer So mga wala pong uh, link in learning subscription can someone confirm uh, with the link pasted by Mechani Web Can someone confirm uh, if you are uh, no no if you can now access the learning path on how to become a graphic designer. Pwede bang pa-share din uh, Miss Rose Soreta kung na-access nga nila yung ano, yung learning path. Kasi this was shared to us by ano no, uh, by link in learning na itong path daw na to ay ano ah uh, free daw ayan To join the raffle simply ano lang no uh, comment down link in uh, learning philippines Ayan pa-check naman sir ma'am no yung uh, etong link na to Ayan, this link. Ayan, if you can have access to this uh, learning path. Antayin ko po kayo, no? Uh, check natin kung ma-access natin yung learning path na yun. Ah, uh, pa confirm nga Sir Arnold kung na-play nyo bawat ano? Uh, bawat course. Ayan. Ako kasi ano eh, uh, hindi ko ma-check kung meron kasi meron na akong subscription sa ano eh, sa LinkedIn Learning kaya meron talaga kaya ko talagang ma-access 'yan. But for 
sa lahat po na walang uh, subscription ng LinkedIn Learning, I would like to check if this is ano, no? Re really true if uh, everyone gets to have access to this uh, learning path. Once more, uh, the link is in the comment uh, section. It's, uh, ayan. Sir Eli Biago, ayan. Uh, Sir Eli, pacheck nga po yung this link coming from Mekani Web. Ayan. Uh, please check Sir Eli Biago if uh, you can access the course. Ayan, the whole learning path. Ayan, wait ka namin, Sir Eli Biago. Ano? Uh, please click the link uh, coming from Mekani Web. Nakalagay this link. Ayan, we're checking if this learning path really is ano, no? free to be accessed by uh, everyone. So, kung totoo nga, no, this is, uh, no, no, this is uh, helpful to everyone who's, who is interested to become a graphic designer. Ayan, and uh, from the latest stats itself in uh, LinkedIn, merong 300, grabe naman, 355,000 uh, job openings in... Uh, in LinkedIn worldwide I think this is ano worldwide kasi sobrang laki ayan so sorry na lang <laughs> sorry na lang daw sa mga hindi ano no uh, hindi nakakaalam nito pero of course you may share the link and let's be a blessing to everyone Uh, please share this uh, link. So, check din natin, no? Check din natin. Can someone also check if there's a certificate na makukuha? Granted, if you have watched, let's say, itong unang uh, course. So, I'll be, ano, no? I'll be starting the learning path and uh, select watch uh, the full course nge uh, itong unang course pala ay ano lang no uh, the first course is just 2 minutes At its core, graphic design is really combining words, shapes, form, and color to communicate an idea.
When I started out in school, I thought graphic design was about layout. I thought, great. I get to put some nice typography with some nice images. And move them around on the page. And I love doing that. But the turning point with me was when I first got into art school. And One of our teachers, Lou Danziger, showed us a piece that he had done. It was an American flag on a paintbrush. And all of a sudden, it made sense. Graphic design was about combining things. Ayan, for our uh, new viewers, ayan, kindly click this forms, link, and I which was uh, commented down by uh, Mechani Web. Make a new comment. So we're checking here if uh, this uh, learning path really is Unsept. I don't know. That was the part that made it exciting. Really is free to access. All of a sudden it wasn't about layout anymore. It was about ideas. Now one Yeah, now check you sir Alfred uh, is I it like really you know design when people say uh, free to well, access sir Alfred uh, Arshaga Can it change the world is yes it can and it doesn't change it like working for uh, may mention ba kung hanggang kailan uh, siya free to access? For Greenpeace and saving whales. Can but someone it uh, comment down? Yeah, if it uh, kung may nabang na mention sila na hanggang kailan lang siya free, no? If I... you do a good job, and it makes a company more successful. That's the real point of this, is to help others succeed. That's the core of graphic design. We work with other individuals and companies and help them along a little bit. Kind of make their lives easier to sell a product or an idea. Now that idea can be in Ayan, OMG, yan, the service bagal of internet. a branding exercise, a poster, information graphics, television broadcast graphics, title sequences.
You can do interactive design, experience design, and figure out the way someone actually moves. a space and how they interpret that information. The media isn't as important as the concept itself, and that's where good graphic design really takes hold. Smart ideas that communicate a clear message and do it with skill and craft. Yan, wala rin kaming na nahanap Sir Alfred eh. Baka may nakita kayo kasi syempre ang hirap naman. It's important to understand there is an actual process. Biglang mo wala ka ng access. Step by step. Tapos pa-check din po kung uh, na-access din siya sa phones nyo. Uh, ayan, so sharing the link for Google Play. Ayan, meron din, to, meron din po ito sa, ano, no, sa Apple if you're using an iPhone. to work with color in new ways and those are all basic skills. The first thing I do on any project is sit down and start sketching. I can't jump into something without a good idea. That's the process that we all learn. From there, you can move on to more complex ideas and more high-end tools. But that basic part is something you're always... return to and be patient it takes time and it takes practice so ano to uh check nga natin kung may certificate na to uh, eto lang Ito lang course na to, no? Che-check ko, ha? So, ayan. Meron nga siya, no? Uh... May certificate nga siya. Uh, etong ano lang, no? Itong... May kling video na to, may certificate siya. So, pa-check nga uh, Sir Alfred no, uh, if may certificate din siya kung yung may kling course na yon, may nakuha akong ano eh, certificate eh. Ayan, si Sir Eli, uh, may nakuha daw. How about uh, Sir Alfred, Sir Arnold, ayan. Uh, Sir Edgardo, Ma'am Primelin, Sir Alfred, Sir Bricks of Vlogs. Ayan, check ko yun sa akin. Ayan, meron nga. <laughs> Ito ata yung ano ha, pinakamaikling, pinakamaikling course.
na makukuha mo sa LinkedIn. Yan, post nga natin sa ano, sa Digital Creatives. <laughs> Ayan, nakakatatlo na si Sir. Ayan. Ko comment nga ako sa ano, Digital Creatives uh, Philippines. Kayo din nga uh, Sir Ma'am, uh, if possible, uh, please uh, post in Digital Creatives Philippines. Yan, po-post ko. Learning graphic design now. Oh, mahirap pa lang ha tayo sir, no? Uh, ayan, na-share ko. Sana uh, share request din po, no? I-share niyo po yung certificate na nakuha niyo sa Digital Creatives. Ayan, Philippines. Ayan, so sinare ko siya sa ano, DCP. Ma'am Edgley, ayan. Good afternoon, Ma'am Edgley, ayan. Uh, pakiclick po, Ma'am Edgley Gafood. Ma'am Architect uh, Gafood. Uh, may sinare po kaming link. Click this link. Commented by uh, Mekani Web. Ayan. So, if you know someone who's uh, interested in learning graphic design, I think this learning path is uh, very beneficial. Ayan, so I have I have posted mine uh, in uh, Digital Creatives uh, Philippines. So check natin yung iba no. Uh, huh. Ito, 20 minutes samahan samahan nyo ko samahan ko kayo for uh, 20 minutes. Uh, check natin to. Sometimes din kasi, uh, ang course may mga questions eh. Do you want to become a graphic designer? Do you want to... ...to learn how to design your own book or logo? Maybe you want to cre create effective marketing materials for your business. This course will help you get started. Hi, I'm Kara, Content Manager of Design at LinkedIn Learning. I bring together renowned instructors and our world-class production teams to create all, all the courses you'll find in our graphic design learning library. We created this course to help you take the first steps to learning design. We'll begin at the first stage of the design process, concept development. This is the most critical stage and one many often skip. Making an informed choice can mean the difference between effective designs versus just pretty designs. After that, we'll explore creativity. Creativity is one of the most important skills to help you thrive as a designer. You can learn how to break out of a creative rut and learn to silence that stifling creative inner critic. We'll then explore the fundamental building blocks of graphic design color, typography, and layout. 
These topics are essential for all design and a perfect place for any new designer to begin. We'll also look at different types of design, including logos, magazines and catalogs, digital publishing, and more. From there, we'll move on to the topic of software. I'll walk you through all the major players so you'll feel confident that the tools you learn will meet the needs of your projects. This course is meant to be a general overview of the topics you need to know. I won't be covering them in depth, but I will provide suggestions of LinkedIn Learning courses that focus on each topic. So let's get started learning all about design and the design skills you need to create great work. So you have a design project and you are ready to dive into InDesign to start creating. Before you do, take the time for one of the most important, yet often overlooked, parts of the design process, concept development. Before you turn on your laptop or iPad, the right way to start any design project is to pick up your old trusty pencil and paper and simply sketch. When you first brainstorm an idea, it's usually the most common and expected solutions that first pop into your head, so it's vital that you push beyond those. Sketching will force you to use your imagination. Find a quiet and inspiring place to work, grab a coffee, put on your favorite music, and give yourself a specific amount of time to really think, research, and experiment. If you need a boost of inspiration to help you start, Step and Muma's Creativity, Generate Ideas in Greater Quantity and Quality is a great resource to learn helpful idea generation tips. Another effective strategy in design is using story. Some of the greatest designs that have captured our attention and our hearts have done so because they use story. In our course, Storytelling for Designers, you'll learn the elements of a compelling story and how to weave narrative into pictures and graphics in a way that your audience will respond to. An important component of storytelling involves creating an emotional connection with an audience member. So remember, design is so much more than colors, images, and typography. The way to set your design apart is starting with a strong concept. In this age of everything digital, it's still essential to sketch and draw your ideas. Sketching away from the computer and all the distractions it holds allows you to focus on concepts and outline a direction that supports the goals of your project. It's easy to get pulled into choosing fonts and picking colors you love versus making thoughtful and informed decisions about how these elements work together and what they communicate. Think of it as one of your key tools alongside your favorite software and apps. You don't have to be a master draftsman, but you do need to feel like you can convey your ideas quickly with simple sketches. If your drawing skills are strong, this can be a huge asset and a valuable skill that you can bring to your team and clients. If you're able to create some of your own illustrations, this can also save time and money. Now, if you don't feel like your drawing skills are where you'd like them to be, don't panic. Look for our Drawing Foundation series. Here, you'll get guidance on perspective, shading, drawing the figure and landscapes, and more. These are more traditional fine art drawing courses and will teach you how to render what you see. For another great group of courses, look at the drawing challenges with talented illustrator Von Glitschka. Whether you choose one of his five-day challenges or the 21-day challenge, they are really fun and will get you into a daily habit of drawing. So grab a sketchbook and start getting your brilliant ideas down on paper. Why should you care about graphic design history? In the words of Sean Adams in his course, Learning Graphic Design History, one of the best tools to be a great designer is to have a wide visual vocabulary. History gives us that. Designers often focus on what's hot today and spend time trying to determine what's going to be hot tomorrow. Design is a field obsessed with all things on the cutting edge. Having knowledge of design evolution and cultural influence gives you a smarter and more varied toolbox to work from. Understanding the simplicity of the typography and emotional connection to color of the Bauhaus, as well as the handmade and unique principles of the arts and crafts movement, may help inspire your best work. 
It's also helpful to know what design trends were popular when, so you can use those styles in a design related to that time period. For example, say you're designing a poster promoting an exhibit of rock memorabilia from the 60s. Your design will more effectively communicate the event if the colors and typefaces you choose are from that period. Knowing history is essential to creating remarkable design. Creativity is the fuel artists and designers depend on. Many believe it's an elusive force that comes out of thin air, except when it doesn't. Who hasn't sat in front of a blank canvas, a sheet of paper, or a computer screen waiting for inspiration to strike? Creativity is more complex than simply thinking of ideas. It can also involve overcoming major emotional blocks. As artist Amy Wynn shares in the weekly series, Creativity for All, she feels fear and vulnerability when looking at a big looming white canvas. In this same series, photographer Ben Long shares his taxonomy of creative fears, ranging from a fear of bad ideas to a fear of discovering you're not good at what you do. Yet another creative block can be our own harsh inner critic, and Denise Jacobs created an entire course to help you with this called Banish Your Inner Critic to Unleash Creativity. Are you seeing a pattern here? Even experienced creative professionals struggle with finding and nurturing creativity. Do you experience this? I know I have. Now, take a deep breath. There are so many courses that can help you with your own creative practice, such as Creativity Bootcamp, Learning Brainstorming, and Breaking Out of a Creative Rut. It's not always easy to find the fuel you need to break through a creative impasse, but hopefully some of these ideas can help you go beyond it and create designs that you truly love. The core elements that make up every design are layout, typography, and color. To be a good designer, you have to have a deep understanding of how each of these elements contributes to the overall message. It's like cooking. You need to know each of your ingredients and what they'll go well with before you can combine them successfully. Layout is extremely important because it's the structure or skeleton of the piece and therefore drives the overall design. Layouts can feel peaceful and serene, dynamic and functional, or even chaotic. The right mood for the work just depends on the audience and the goal of the piece. Almost anything goes in the right context, with one exception, a design that feels dull or lifeless. This is all determined by your choices of color, balance, scale, and density of type and image. These are the elements of design that when used correctly will enable you to set the right tone and create a strong composition. The role of type in design is so much more than just communicating a message in words. Type creates an impression before the words are even read. Good typography communicates the message of the design. It should be tailored to the intended audience through the chosen typeface and how it's set. For example, the goal for the typography on an income tax return form is legibility. There is no room for creative expression here and the design is purely functional. On the other hand, if you're designing a poster for an exciting event, the type is critical to create interest and represent the appropriate feel. Typography is complex, but once you know the rules, you'll know when you can push the boundaries a bit and you'll be able to set beautiful type like a pro. Color plays an important role in every design, both visually and emotionally. Color can be a crucial part of brand identity. Color can make us feel a certain way. And because of the cultural connotations associated with color, it also plays a huge role in helping to communicate a message. Think of these three elements, layout, type, and color, as your building blocks of design. With a solid understanding of how to use all three, you will be on your way to creating designs that your viewers will connect with. Graphic design is all around us, from logos, magazines, and posters, to signs, product packaging, and marketing pieces, not to mention social media. Each type of design has a specific job. Understanding what that job is will help you create a successful design. Regardless of the type of project, the job of design is to attract attention 
while visually communicating the essence of what or who it represents in the most immediate way. There's a common misconception that good design is beautiful, but getting it right isn't just about making it pretty. It's about making sure it delivers your message in a way that resonates. So let's talk about a few different types of design projects. Logos are highly condensed graphics packed with meaning. Because of that, mm -hmm. every design decision is that much more critical when it comes to crafting the message it communicates and who it communicates to. The most important first step is understanding the clients, who they're trying to reach, and what they're trying to say. With that information in hand, you can then explore which colors, images, and type will best communicate the intended message to the intended audience. Magazine design is complex due to the volume of text and images a designer needs to organize and present logically. Its main job is to present the content to the reader in a way that's easy to navigate while also creating an immersive experience. Infographics are visual representations of information and their job is to tell stories in a fun, engaging, and easy to digest way. Lastly, we have marketing materials and catalogs. These have a number of jobs that we've already mentioned, such as capturing our attention, telling the story of the brand, and in some cases, providing visual beauty and delight. These are just a few types of design projects you may work on. But no matter what job you have, it's essential that you truly understand the product or client you're promoting, the intended audience, and the purpose of the piece. If you don't, you'll fail to communicate your message, and its beauty will only be skin deep. We've already discussed the importance of sketching and planning. Once you get your concept down on paper, you'll need to create a digital version for distribution and in many cases, refinements. Although there's no shortage of tools to choose from, in today's graphic design world, most designers are using three main applications in either desktop or mobile format, Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. InDesign is a layout tool for producing documents for print and on-screen delivery. This includes print publications, interactive documents, online catalogs, stationery, ebooks, and more. Text and images import easily, and InDesign has a rich collection of tools that will enable you to customize every element of your design. To edit and create images and videos, or work out concepts, Photoshop is your best bet. It's great for taking care of common editing tasks like cropping and straightening, color and tonal adjustments, and retouching. One of the many benefits of editing in Photoshop is the ability to edit non-destructively, working in layers, using masks, and more. Now, when you need to create a work that can be scaled up indefinitely and never degrade in quality, such as logos that may be used at wildly different sizes, you need a program that can create scalable vector art. Illustrator is and perfect for this. Retouching. It's also great for creating freehand drawings as well as tracing and recoloring, scanning, or captured art. Many use Illustrator for creating logos and icons, More. illustrations, and even now. setting type. It's an essential tool for any designer. Learning software takes time, but these types of programs are vitally important and can enable you to create work beyond what you can create with pen and paper alone opening up endless possibilities. There are many things to consider when it comes to prints. Costs can range wildly, depending on the quantity, size, printing method, paper, special treatments, finishes, and more. There are a lot of decisions to be made for each printed piece, and one uninformed choice can result in unexpected costs and outcomes. Let's say you're doing a brochure for a cosmetics company and your client wants to show off the bright colors and shine. If you choose the wrong paper, that image could be dull and lifeless, resulting in a blown schedule due to an expensive reprint and worse, an unhappy client. But don't worry, when it comes to print, you don't need to know everything. You just need to know the right questions to ask and you need to share the details of your vision with your printer. If they know the look you're going for and the budget you need to stick to, they can help you make the right choices. We have a series of courses called Print Production Essentials that covers packaging, folding, choosing paper, and more. 
Managing your first print project doesn't have to be intimidating. By applying the knowledge you'll learn in these courses, you'll have the confidence to be able to make the right decisions and have a successful outcome. When creating a piece that will be digitally distributed, you have a number of options. The most common is a PDF. Most can access it, but it's fairly limited in terms of interactivity or rich media support. Adobe's Publish Online is another easy to use option that allows users to publish a document via a unique URL. This way, anyone with the link, desktop or mobile, can access it. You also have the ability to include any of InDesign's interactive elements, including hyperlinks and buttons, audio and video files, multi-state objects, and even InDesign animations. Additional options with easy to use interfaces, perfect for social media posts, are Adobe's SparkPost and Canva. These are WYSIWYG applications, or what you see is what you get, that give users the ability to combine photographs, illustrations, and text into a single post. This is a space that's changing quickly, so be sure to do your homework before setting out. Creating and distributing eBooks has become significantly easier and more accessible over time. The tricky bit is knowing which format is right for your project. eBooks have come a long way in terms of developing industry-wide standards, including EPUB, which is now the most widely supported format. But if you're serious about distributing your eBook far and wide, you can't ignore Amazon's Kindle format. This is a proprietary format that is only available on Amazon. If you're new to design and want to produce and publish your own book, Apple's iBooks Author is a beautiful and easy to use solution if you're okay with your book being available on Apple devices only. One more great option is Adobe's Publish Online, an easy to use tool that allows you to publish directly from InDesign as long as you aren't planning on monetizing your book. The technology around eBooks is always evolving, so research the various platforms often so you have the most up-to-date specs on each one. Let's take a moment to go beyond the basics of design and discuss some other key things that will help you on your career path. Brand strategy is a critical part of design, and yet designers aren't typically trained in communication or marketing. Branding is a complete system that communicates a brand's message and therefore impacts all aspects of your design project, from packaging to marketing. Emotional connection and consistency all play a role in good brand design. Where and how you work are important considerations and require different skill sets. Do you want to work for yourself or at an agency? Or do you want to be part of an in-house design team? If your dream is to land a spot on an in-house design team, this is very different from working as a freelancer. You'll want to be armed with really great interpersonal skills and find ways to thrive in a corporate and at times more bureaucratic environment. On the other hand, if you plan to run your own design business, knowing how to earn passive income while you're focused on more intensive design projects may be a major part of keeping your business profitable. And one last thought, and this is really important. Remember that as with any field, having related skills that keep you well-rounded will help set you apart. Here are a few examples. Having solid photography skills may help you land a project creating social media designs. A good working knowledge of web design will keep you current and relevant and expand your design skills beyond print. And an understanding of art direction may help open doors to opportunities for promotion at your company. My parting words of advice are keep an eye out for ways you can expand your skills, have the courage to try new things, and always be learning. I hope this course has provided you with a helpful overview of our amazing design courses and empowered you to determine what you need to learn and where to get started. There are two series that I especially want to point out. Our Essential Training series is a great place to start when learning a new piece of software. And check out our Foundation series for more information on the key elements of design, such as layout, color, typography, and more. 
Both series have been created for those who are new to a topic, so they cover the essentials and will prepare you to start your design journey with confidence. We also have a number of weekly series where a single technique is covered in one movie. This will give you a quick dose of inspiration, learning, and creativity when you may not have the time to get into a longer course. The topics are really varied, so you never know what cool new thing will be featured and how that may influence the work you're doing. Regardless of where you're at in your design education, there will always be something new to learn. You got this. Thanks for watching. Ayan, so, uh, may nakuha na naman ako. Share this course. Ayan. Itong 20 minute na to. Download. So, hindi hindi na po natin ano no. <laughs> hindi na po natin i-stream lahat at tatapusin yung ano no, sobrang haba. Sobrang haba nito, 29 hours. Oh my god, isang buong araw pala to. So Anyways, uh, napakaganda no. Uh, maraming matututunan including I-post ko lang, ayan. Ayan, so requesting you din po no uh, kung may natapos uh, po kayong uh, course uh, pa-post na lang din po sa ano sa Digital Creatives uh, Philippines. Ayan. Ayan, nawawala daw yung stream. Kaya, ayan. Good evening, ma'am uh, Jebeliza Garde. Ayan. So, hindi ko na po, ano, no? Papatagalin to, no? Uh, for you to have the access, just, ano, click this link. Yung comment po na, ayan. <laughs> si Sir Alfred Arshaga na may uh, saging na puso. Ayan, na uh, naka naka four certificate na daw siya. So, sana po na no, ma-check ma nyo din, no. Uh, Pa-check din po kung uh, sana naka-access din to sa mga mobile phone yun, no? Uh, through the LinkedIn Learning mobile app. <laughs> ayan, si Ma'am Enchley. Ayan, alam ko dati pa may ano to eh, may access din to. Ayan, watch it before nung ano. Nung June 2020 pa yung kay ano. Um, Ma'am Enchley. Ayan, tama, Sir Jonathan. Uh, tatry kong... <laughs> tatry kong kom kompletuhin din, no? Buong gabi, libangan lang. Ayan. Pero, I'm sure, mas maganda po kasing ano, eh, no? Sundin nyo yung... Yung ano, no? Yung pinapagawa. Kapareho po nitong Illustrator 2020. Ayan, Essential Training. Adobe Illustrator. 
Ito po kasi talaga matututo ka nito. Kaya lang, ano, yung, mas maganda, i-download nyo po yung exercise files. Ayan, 600 MB. And gawin nyo talaga. Okay, so, once more, uh, comment down below, hashtag LinkedInLearningPhilippines. Ayan. So, nandito rin pala yung InDesign, no? Essential uh, Training. Yung sunod kasi, 4 hours na, eh, no? Introduction to Graphic Design. Ayan. So, yung mga latecomers po, no? Uh, we just shared, ano, uh, LinkedIn Learning Path, wherein you can, ano, no? Uh, wherein you will become become ano daw no a graphic designer so ma'am Jebeliza Garde yung comment po ni Mekani Web i-click nyo lang po yung link na yun ayan makakakuha daw kayo ng access sa uh, learning path na yan on how to become a graphic designer wag na pong malungkot ma'am Jebeliza Garde ayan so ilang certificate to ma'am ah uh, Ano ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 din yan, ma'am. And sa dulo po, ayan, meron kang isang certificate pa ata, no? Ayan, so, click the link lang po, no? It's uh, na kinoment ni uh, Mekani Web. Ayan. And, to end this uh, live stream ayan may parafol po tayong isang ano no uh, isang link in learning subscription sa lahat po ng ano sa lahat po ng nag-comment ng hashtag link in learning ayan philippines Okay. So sino ulit yung mga nag-comment ng Link in Learning Philippines si si Sir Edgar, si Sir Arnold, si Sir Eli. Ayan si Sir Sir Alfred, nag-comment ka ba? Ayan. So, sorry na lang po, no, sa <laughs> hindi nag-comment ng Link in Learning Philippines. Hindi po kayo kasama sa raffle. Ayan. So, once more sa mga latecomers po, no, ayan. Uh, i-click nyo po yung link which was commented down by uh, Mekani Web. It gives you access to this uh, no, no, learning path which is uh, become a graphic designer ayan and uh, tomorrow po no tomorrow inviting you to sometimes saying no is okay with uh, Miss Eunice ano Punzalan Ayan, so, i-paste ko rin po, no? Join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. for, ayan. Okay, and uh, mamayang gabi po, no? Samahan nyo po si Miss uh, Nelsi for... 3DS Max, uh, last installment po ng uh, 3DS Max. Basic animation uh, in 3DS Max, today po at 8pm. So, maghapunan lang tayo sa mga in interested po, no, matuto ng animation using 3DS Max. 
Uh, samahan natin si Miss Nelsie at Sir uh, Ronel, Onel Pabiko, mamayang 8pm. Ayan, so sa, ayan, mag na tayo, no? Uh, ang winner. Ang winner po. Ayan, see you today, 8pm, ayan, from Miss Nelsie. Ayan. Pero alam ko, walang webcam si Ma'am Nelsie, kaya hindi nyo siya makikita. Ayan. So, sa lahat po ng mga ano, no, uh, gusto nyong matuto ng graphic design at um, if you think Yang uh, free learning path na yan ay beneficial to someone you know. I-share nyo daw po sa kanila yung ano. Share nyo naman po yung blessing sa iba. Ayan. O, oh, ayan. Si Sir Edmund Des. Kakakita ko lang ng certificate niya. <laughs> ayan. Happy learning po. Sana ano, uh, matutu ma may natutunan po kayo. Ayan. Okay, so see you po later uh, at 8pm uh, with Miss uh, Nelsie. Ayan, at ang winner natin ng LinkedIn Learning Subscription tonight ay si Ayan, our winner for uh, tonight na sumama po sa yung, su yung sumali sa <laughs> tambay mode natin ngayon no? yung sumama sa atin ngayon ayan I see ayan so pa-share na lang din po ulit no click this link ayan para sa mga gustong matuto po ng ano how to become a graphic uh, designer okay so Ikiklik ko na po. Ayan. So, congratulations na lang po sa ating uh, ayan, winner. Ayan. Ang nanalo ay si Ayan. Ang winner ng ating raffle po ay si Sir Ayan, Alfred Arshaga. Ayan. So, to claim po yung price, uh, simply uh, PM me in uh, LinkedIn. Ayan. Message mo lang ako, Sir Alfred. Sir Saging lang ang may puso. Ayan. Yeah. I-message nyo lang po ako sa LinkedIn uh, to claim. Ayan. So, antayin ko po kayo, Sir Alfred. Once more, uh, congratulations to Sir Alfred. Ayan. Tapos, uh, I believe pag ikaw ay may access niyan, Sir, ay maishishare mo yan sa iba eh. Okay, kapareho nitong sa akin. Oh. I can uh, share this, oh, this course to Sir Eli, ayan, Biago. Ayan. So, be a blessing na lang din, no? Sir, saging lang ang may puso. Uh, I-share nyo na lang din, sir, yung ano, no? Yung mga... Yung mga course sa mga ano po, no? Sa tingin yung uh, makikinabang. Ayan, kapareho niyan, sir. Dahil ikaw ay uh, keyboardista, ayan. Uh, pwede mong ring i-share tong ano, learning how to play the guitar. Ayan. Ayan. Uh, meron din pala tayong learning path. How to play a piano. Play piano and keyboards. 
sa LinkedIn Learning din po yan. Ayan. So, ayan. <laughs> Ito pala si Sel Arpred. Ayan. Congrats daw, sabi ni Ma'am Rose Soreta. Ayan. So, once more, sa mga ano no, may sa mga interesado maging graphic designer, paki-share na lang din din po yung ano no, yung yung link na yan. Ayan. Okay, so hindi ko na po kayo istorbohin. Ako din po ay gutom na. <laughs> Ayan, so happy ano no, happy dinner daw and uh, once more, see you po later at uh, 8 PM together with uh, Miss Nelcy and uh, Sir Ronel. Ayan, so Ayan, so once more, thank you po no for uh, joining us and ayan, magandang libangan po yan this uh, this whole weekend. Aralin po natin yung illustrator, ano pa yun no? Illustrator in design, color, color, typography, ayan, Photoshop, color trends this uh, weekend. Ayan. Sana po makatulong. Once more, ayan, thank you for uh, joining me, ayan, and uh, joining us this uh, evening na pala, no? and uh, hoping to connect with you as well in LinkedIn. Ayan. Thank you po. Goodbye. Ma'am Crizzle J., Tawagan nyo po ako, Ma'am Crizel J. Ayan, wanted po kayo, Ma'am Crizel J. Alam nyo po yung number, Ma'am Crizel J. Ayan, tawagan nyo lang po kami, Ma'am. Ayan. Thank you po ulit. God bless po. Happy weekend. See you mamaya at uh, bukas po ng 2pm. Thank you po. Happy dinner.